Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about trichoid. So before discussing this, let us take what is cycloidal curves. Already we did cycloid. These trichoids also similar to cycloids. Here we are taking one p point on the circumference of the circle. In which direction circle is rolling? In this direction. Here surface is horizontal. If p point is on the circumference of the circle, the curve traced out by this p point is called cycloid. Okay, already we did this cycloid. I give the link in description box. Please check it. If p point is inside the circle or outside the circle, let us assume like that. What is the path of p? Where how the curve will come? Okay, let us take p point is inside the circle. Okay, when the circle is rolling, okay, in this direction, then the p path will come like this. Roughly I did here. Okay, this curve is called trichoid. Okay. So here P is inside the circle. If point P is inside the circle, it is called inferior trichoid. In today's class, we will discuss about inferior trichoid. The meaning is the P point is inside the circle. Let us do this diagram by using the given question. Let us take the given question. A circle of diameter 50 mm. The diameter of the circle is rolling circle is 50 mm. Rolls along a straight line for one revolution, one complete revolution. Okay. Draw the locus of point lying at a distance 16 mm from the center of the circle here one point has taken this point is 16 mm from the center of the circle here i have written the given data in exam as well as in the drawing practice you no need to write the given data just only you have to do the drawing okay. just for understanding the question i have written the given data here so here diameter of the circle 50 mm given what is the radius half in it 25 mm Okay, if you are taking in centimeter, it is 2.5 centimeter. So it is rolling for one revolution, complete revolution. So I have written here. So P point, I am taking P is, capital P is the point. So inside the circle, which is 16 mm from the center. Okay, 16 mm means 1.6 centimeters. Let us do this diagram. Here, before doing this record, let us take one example. Here I am taking the given circle. Okay, roughly assume this diameter is 5 centimeter. I am taking one P point okay so the circle is rolling on a straight line okay just roughly i did here straight line so i am taking p point here okay starting p point this is the position now here mark the p position record means it is a path of this p point this is a p point i took here this is 16 mm from the center let us mark this p position here now the circle is rolling like this okay now after rolling mark this p position here Now it is rolling on the straight line. Mark this P position here. Mark the position of P point. wherever p point is there mark here now this point okay starting now the, this is the last point now this point initially here okay it is coming again here so this circle did one complete rotation okay so up to this it is moving 2 pi r distance 2 pi r is nothing but circumference of the circle so any circle is rolling one revolution means 2 pi r distance so here we have to calculate 2 pi r distance 2 into pi into r means radius of the circle how much it is 2.5 centimeter into 2.5 whatever value is coming we have to take that straight line okay within that we have to mark all this p path let us this is the p position okay now join all the p points we will get trichoid just roughly i am doing here so here we will get the last end line so this curve is called trichoid and the p point is inside the circle that's why it is called 
inferior trochoid okay let us do the circle roughly okay around this circumference roughly i did the circle here so same circle is rolling up to here okay like this so this p point is inside the circumference of the circle and this is 16 mm from the center this curve is called inferior trochoid let us do this diagram by using the drawing instruments by using the correct dimensions just now i told circle is rolling one complete revolution one complete revolution means 2 pi r distance from this point to this point let us calculate this value 2 pi into radius is 2.5 by using calc we will do it 2 into pi means it is coming here so above pi means shift pi into r 2.5 how much it is so is equal to 15.7 cm it is 15.7 cm let us mark here so initially do this line by using the scale here so i did this 15.7 cm line by using the scale here i am giving the name for the horizontal straight line a b okay after doing this line just do here one vertical line at the starting point at the a point okay one vertical line so the angle is 90 degrees just for taking 90 degrees by using protractor it is easy to do 90 degrees lines for getting the 90 degrees line because this angle is 90 okay just here do one line roughly okay for marking center now on this line mark center of the circle how much radius it is 2.5 cm 2.5 by using the compass here by using a mark the center here so this is the center just do one circle so after that mark here center c so this mark p point after marking center p is 16 mm from the center it has given using scale i took 1.6 cm i took the p point here capital p okay this is the starting position of p here like this after getting p point here also do one circle okay at the p point we will get the small circle why we have to do small circle means here as i told okay this is a p point when the circle is rolling this p point is also rolling along with it so for doing it we need to take one circle here this is a cp distance just do one circle after getting the smaller circle divide this smaller circle into two divisions for dividing any circle we need to take the angle at the center of circle so what is the angle for the circle for any circle angle is 360 degrees at the center okay the total angle so how many parts we have to divide 12 parts so we have to divide this angle into 12 parts we will get each part is 30 degrees okay so this is take reference line by using protractor divide into 12 parts here the protractor is coming out of the sheet that's why divide this side okay and extend the lines this side also okay i am taking this side so that we can mark all the points on the sheet now initially this vertical diameter should coincide with this horizontal should coincide with this from 0 to 30 30 to next 30 degrees 60 60 plus 30 means 90 90 plus 30 means 120 120 plus 30 means 150 okay we will get all the points here now join all these points to the center so here already we did the line no need to do again here next point is this point join this point to center extend this line within the smaller circle okay and now take the next point join to the center now take the next point already we did the horizontal line here okay no need to do next point is this point next this point so we are extending all these lines to this side also okay because this circle is symmetrical now here let us check how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 equal divisions we did let us give the numbers for this here i am giving p point this point is i am giving 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 write numbers clearly okay 7 8 9 10 
11 this is 12th one also okay so we can write p comma 12 now after that here at center do one line of this distance how much distance it is 15.7 centimeter so we have to do the line up to this line just do one vertical line here so this line should coincide with this vertical line is 90 degrees line this is 90 degrees just extend up to some length okay here at the center do the line up to this line like this is a reference line move the scale just do the center line here extend the line so this center line is coming up to here okay now center is initially here okay, let us take like this so center is initially here when it is moving center is moving from c to c1 next center is moving from c2 to c3 like that okay new centers are coming but all centers are on the same line because it is moving on the horizontal path okay centers are coming on the center line okay that's why how many centers are coming here we are dividing into 12 parts 12 centers are coming okay let us mark all 12 centers for dividing this into 12 equal divisions initially divide this length because this length and this length are same okay divide this length into 12 equal divisions for dividing any line into 12 divisions we have one procedure in engineering drawing just do one small angle line inclined line okay. you can take at any angle just do one line here one rule is here this angle should be less than 30 okay after getting this line inclined line by using compass take any radius no need to measure just take any radius take the same radius from a as center just take this is the first part now take this intersection point is the center next second one now take this is a new center just do an arc same radius at all points okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so 12 divisions we did by taking some radius now after that join this last point to b point so this is the last point this is the b point join here just do one thin line here we will get one inclined line okay at all these points also we have to do the lines which are parallel to this line last line for getting parallel line you can use the drafter scale fix the drafter scale here move the scale in this direction up to this point we just do one line here like this here i am using roll scale so after getting it move the scale in upper direction up to this point just do the line here now next it should be parallel all line should be parallel drafter scale is easy to use fix the drafter scale and move the scale in this direction So here we got the 12 divisions for marking it i am giving the names this intersection point is one dash and this this intersection point is two dash and this is three dash and here this is four dash and this is five dash six dash seven dash eight dash nine dash 10 dash 11 dash this is 12 dash the okay, 12 equal divisions we did our main aim is we have to divide the center line into 12 parts okay because these are parallel lines just do vertical lines at all these points for getting the centers take okay, this is the reference line and move the scale up to 1 dash you okay, just do one vertical line here up to this similarly at all points do the vertical lines for marking the centers
now mark these points at one dash it is center one this is c2 from 3 dash it is c3 next c4 from 5 it is c5 next c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c11 c12 okay after marking centers okay, all centers from all these points also do the horizontal lines up to this line okay for doing horizontal lines take this is a reference line move the scale here at p point just do one horizontal line up to this length okay now next move the scale 11 and 1 this is 1 this is 11 both are coming on the same line just do one horizontal line here next move the scale 10 2 both are coming on the same line already 9 3 we did on the center line so after that 8 4 both are coming on the same line next 7 5 next at 6 Okay, we did the lines at all the points okay now these are the centers whenever this circle is rolling like this okay c is coming to next point c1 center next c2 next c3 like that but this distance from center to this point is constant okay so that's why it takes cp distance this distance is constant okay if c1 is center where is the p point on the first line which is passing through one just mark here on the first line this point okay on the first line next c2 center take the same distance mark on the second line which is passing through 2 here it is coming okay next take c3 center mark on the third line third line means which is passing through 3 okay take c4 center mark on the fourth line which is passing through 4 okay now take c5 center so do an arc on the fifth line which is passing through five next c6 center do an arc on the sixth line this last line is the sixth one here we will get one arc next c7 so seven and five means next line this line so do an arc on the seventh line c8 so next line is the eighth line this is the seventh line this is the eighth line and the next line is ninth line and next c10 as center at the same point it is coming c10 is a center 10th line this is the 10th line okay and c11 is a center 11th line this is the 11th okay c12 is a center 12th line so the last line is a 12th one so here we got all the points mark the point names here so first line first point it is p1 from p to p1 it is moving so mark p1 here now here next point p2 okay next p3 this is p3 wherever arcs are coming intersection point after p3 p4 next fifth line p5 here next line p6 next line p7 p8 next p9 p10 p11 this is p12 okay after getting all the p points join all the p points for getting the curve starting point is p point p to p1 p1 to p2 like that okay we have to join up to p12 let us do initially do the light curve once it is getting perfectly we can make it dark after getting all p points join all the p points starting point is p point so p to p1 P1 to P2, P2 to P3, P3 to P4, P4 to P5, P4, P5 to P6, P6 to P7, P7 to P8, Now after getting the thin curve, make it dark. So 
so this curve is called inferior record now here after getting this make it dark this horizontal path should also be in dark color and this given circle also in dark color okay the given circle given path as well as getting curve should be in dark color compared to the other lines and after that mark the given dimension this bigger circle diameter has given 50 mm and this p point distance has given how much it is 16 mm okay here we did one circle so it is 16 mm take any one of the diameter take radius means r 16 okay after that this horizontal path how much it is 157 mm so mark at the center of the dimensional line now this is the process of doing this curve this curve name is called ferret record the other cycloidal curve video lectures link i will give in description box please check it if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching